But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And a quick note, by the way, um, it's fruit of the Spirit, not fruits of the Spirit. Here's why that's important. Sometimes when we pluralize fruits of the Spirit, we treat it like it's a buffet that we can kind of pick and choose, right? Like, I'll take a dose of goodness, faithfulness, but I'm not interested in being kind or self-control, right? That's not what's being depicted here. Like, this is the fruit of the Spirit. People who are putting to death their flesh and walking in step with the Spirit will begin to grow this fruit. Now, I'm not a farmer, but I know that fruit doesn't grow overnight. I had a teacher that used to advise us. He's like, take your spiritual temperature in months and years, not minutes and days. But it's a fair barometer. Am I more kind this year than I was last year? Am I more patient? Is there more self-control? Is there more peace, faithfulness, gentleness? Which keep in mind, we're called to bear fruit, not produce it. That's a huge distinction. Because Jesus says, I'm, I'm the vine. You're the branches. Abide in me, you'll grow fruit. You'll bear fruit. The goal is not for us to like, all right, there's the pastor and put this list up there. I gotta go hunker down and just be better at these things. That's not sanctification. It's intentional, but it's also surrender. Saying, Lord, help me to grow in these areas. Help me to look more and more like you. Help me to bear the fruit that you want me to grow. Help me to walk in step with your spirit.